Hey you guys, your favorite little keto goofball or dumbass diamond today, back again. Uh, so if my eyes look a little irritated, it's because I just stabbed myself in the eyeball. Um, and it feels like there's something in there now, of course, and I can't do anything about it. This thing's back there making noise. Say hi. She's day three, full on keto. Hubby's over here. Um, <laughs> he's day nine, full on keto. Now I'll tell y'all about their weigh-ins. Uh, Destiny's I'll probably do on her day seven. Something like eyeball, y'all. And his I'll probably do again Friday. So we have interesting information to report. Yay! So today we had a good day. Um, Destiny decided she wanted to go swimming. There's a big swimming park up the uh, a little ways up the road called Tanglewood. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> There's something in my eyeball, people. And it's pissing me off. Does that make no better? Okay. While well, she's taking a break. Yeah, you talk. Uh, <laughs> uh, this keto stuff. I really like it. Um, I can eat as much fried chicken as I really please. Oh, it's, my parents were like, fried chicken's terrible for you. So, I never really got to eat it a lot. But I love it, and with this, I can eat it as much as I want, and it is the best. Ah, it excites me. Oh, and about the whipped cream. I know she's mentioned whipped cream before, how it's so sweet once you've had nothing sweet in a few days. It is true. I love it. I ate half of the whipped cream in there. Um, I'm sorry. I'll buy more. <laughs> oh my god. You know you can't have like two spoonfuls, right? No, because you didn't tell me that. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, hmm. She's good on the internet, but not in person. She's very forgetful. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to eat a half a tub of whipped cream. You did tell me I couldn't. Okay, okay. You can't. <laughs> Two big old spoonfuls is good enough. <laughs> I've probably had about maybe 10 or 15 spoonfuls today. You've probably had about 20 carbs or 40 from Cool Whip. I, I didn't know. You said it was okay. I believed you. <laughs> Uh, okay, folks, folks on the internet and in the world, Coolip is great on keto, but a little bit. You can't eat a tub of it. <laughs> maybe, maybe today was a cheat day. <laughs> I don't know if that's considered what that is. Nah, you just get right back to it, you'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, y'all, I was crying because I poked myself in the eye and now my nose is running. I just want to quit. <laughs> just for a few minutes, though. Cool it restrictions. Okay. And she's no longer allowed to cook chicken. <laughs> I've, in my defense, I've never made it in a deep fryer before. It's always been on the stove where you're constantly turning it and stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, okay, so I let her use the deep fryer to fry up her and my son some chicken. Told her to poke it with the little thingy my bob till it says it's 180 degrees. As I did. And she says it it showed 180 degrees, but that chicken was deadly raw, yo. <laughs> it was not eating your cookies. She the chicken was still made bleeding. It again. She made it again and it was still raw on the inside. No, yours I, I didn't make it again. I oh, just yeah. kept cooking. Oh well, yeah. But I still, made one it was of the brown pieces again. on the inside, though, so I think it's just that we shouldn't make it in there. No so way. we might just not use that deep fryer for fried chicken unless it's hot wings, because they they a lot thinner than yeah. than the whole chicken leg. I own up to my mistake of making the mistake of never making them in there before. Mistake. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mistake of mistaking mistaken. It was a learning experience. Something I don't know. Okay. So anyway, they've done very well. I thought until she told me about her Cool Whip incident. That's not a little tub of Cool Whip either. I got the two-week tub, you know. <laughs> hey, I can't help it. It's good. Okay, so we might have had a snafu there. I'm sorry. I've only had a spoon. I'm, tra had a spoon. I'm trying, <laughs> and that's that's good. You are trying. And there's lady issues going on, too, so I guess I'm surprised she didn't eat the entire tub. Oh, I, I wanted to. <laughs> I can, if I wanted if, I wish I could. No, I'm sorry. There's something in my eyeball. I told y'all that, like, five times. You know how you got that in there and then you, you just keep messing with it until you actually mess your eyeball up? <laughs> Probably what I'm going to do. So anyway, we went swimming at Big Tanglewood today. Her, him, me, and the grandbaby. And this has two 
uh, real, real good play areas for children. What I mean, just I don't know why they even designed it with two, because they're both really cool. Maybe because there was a lot for, of kids. One is for probably about two years old and up, up to about eight. Yeah. The other one is for four years old up to about twelve, and the other one, the other four is for people that can swim. Yeah. Well, one of the areas is all, is, there's no water except for maybe that much. It's just the water on the bottom. And the rest, the water kind of shoots down. You can spray each other with water hoses. They've got these little fountain thingies in there you can stand over. All kinds of stuff. It's just to play with. And um, Zach loves that, of course. Then the, uh, the second child pool um, starts out very, very shallow and goes to maybe about a foot and a half. Well, maybe two foot. Well, maybe two foot in one area. He's not probably three foot tall. About a foot and a half. Like About a foot and a half. <laughs> so anyway, and then of course they've got a standard big pool. They've got a lazy river, and all for six bucks, and you can stay all day if you seven. want to. For six bucks each Monday. Seven. Okay, seven bucks. Whatever. For six bucks Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday show. Oh well, they screws that a dollar. Anyway, we weren't there very long either. We stayed about an hour and a half because. North Carolina this time of year is smoking hot, but we had a big storm either yesterday or day before yesterday, and it really, really cooled everything down, which is wild because normally it just makes it hotter. But anyway, so we've had two relatively cool days. It only got to 80 today. 80 degrees in a swim pool, yeah. Yeah, so that, that was the kind of experience we had. But next time we'll go back when it's really hot. Unfortunately, if it was really hot, think about how hot that pavement's going to be. Wearing sandals. He's going to wear sandals. Because I mean, some of that play you are running, trying to get to some cool areas. Oh my goodness. I got to stop talking so I can, because yeah, I got to deal with this, guys. Um, bam. I'm just going to go in there and get a scooper and scoop it out. The whole eyeball. Don't need that thing. Do we? Yes. <laughs> yes, we need it. Okay, guys and dolls. So, keto diary. I forgot what we ate. What did we eat <laughs> yesterday? So, yesterday, of course, we had um, double omelets with two pieces of sausage, two pieces of eggs, and cheese, and coconut oil with some uh, mayonnaise. Now, again, I don't think she had yesterday's breakfast. Um, for lunch yesterday, we had broccoli and cheese, a lot of it. And I have round steak with a little bit of steak sauce. And for dinner last night, what do we? Oh, we didn't have dinner, did we? No, I, we got later. Yeah, we had. I had a couple of pieces of Russell, Russell Stover sugar free candy. With pepperoni. And pepperonis. I forgot to add the pepperonis to mine. So you guys, I lied. <laughs> I don't. I can add it real fast. Tell you what it was. Just ignore my board. So we had some ranch with them pepperonis. And it would help if I could see out of my eyeball. <laughs> All right. So we had pepperonis. Again, we had Russell Stover. I had some ranch on my pepperonis. I did have pork rinds, Cool Whip. Yeah, yesterday I was snacking. I shouldn't be doing all that, but that's what I did. And some hot sauce on some um, salsa on my pork rinds. So, oh my God, I don't want to add that. I want to take it off. My calories yesterday were 1,703. Uh, carbs, 28. But that's okay. 14 of those carbs came from uh, broccoli and cheese. ton of broccoli and cheese, y'all. Uh, 140 grams of fat, 72 grams of protein. Since I just did that, I don't know what my percentages was. But when I did my board, before I added the, the pepperonis and the um, ranch, that was 74%, 19%, and 7%. No yeah, I'm always this way today. <coughs> By the way, I think I forgot to tell you, but this is my Keto Diary, day 344. <laughs> Y'all know, stupid. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's It's July 8th, 2018. You ain't helping because I am. No, you're not. Um, anyway, uh, my blood pressure day was 124 over 86, resting heart rate 82. Again, Destiny's on day three, Hubby's on day nine, doing great. Thanks for the shout out, Sandy. I think that made him feel pretty all right. What do you think? I liked it. I she liked it. He liked it. I think you got a new fan. Uh, <laughs> so I've had 12 glasses of fluid yesterday. 
only six hours of sleep. I got to try to do something about that. We did take her vitamins both morning and night, and I was active today because we were swimming. And we chased a four-year-old around a swimming park. You were, you were very active. Very active. <laughs> oh, also weed eating. Off-scale victory, guys. I can now weed eat without dying. Kind of. Oh wait, no, hold on. I'm gonna get there. So I started weed eating because I saw my daddy outside with the weed eater and it needed to be done. So I went and said, hey, daddy, put your dog up and give me the weed eater. So I weed eated. Oh, before I get to that. So I walked out the house this morning. I stood in the sun because it was nice and pretty. My daddy walked out on his porch and said, where the hell did you get that ugly ass red hair from? I said, a bottle? He said, you need to put it back in the damn bottle. You're supposed to be a blonde and that's how you look better. Agreed. And that's all he said and left. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Love you, too. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh, and then, like, while I was waiting, Hubby came up and took the weed eater from me and finished it up and done the rest. And now I can't walk. And now he can't walk. He's complaining about his back. But the pool did help the, the alleviate it some. It didn't hurt as bad while he was in the pool, anyway. But then I got out and it got worse. Then he got out and it hurt worse. <laughs> can't win for losing, folks. Can't win for losing. Okay, so my weight yesterday was 217.8. Today, 217.4. That was before I pottied, and I had a potty when I took it. Uh, so I was down 0 0.4 ounces of 0 0.4 pounds, probably more than that. We'll find out. Did not hit that 16 today. Maybe I will hit 216 something tomorrow. Hopefully. Oh, so I've got 20 days left in my first year of keto. So, oh my gosh, 20 more days, y'all. Will I get down those 6 pounds to be able to claim I lost 100 pounds in a year? Golly, I, got I don't an know. Idea about that. You got an idea about that? What's the idea? Cut your calories down to the minimum. I don't want to cut my calories down to the minimum. Get that on a pound go. But I'll be hungry. But you'll get that and I'll be go. pissed off, and everybody will hate me. Only for a couple of days. <laughs> your girl like food, and the cat's beating the hell out of me. What the hell? <laughs> coming back. I hear him coming. Alright, so don't forget to visit the Keto Community Bulletin Board Facebook group and upload any videos you find inspirational, interesting, any new research, any articles you find interesting, even if they're negative so we can debunk them or get them out of the way. Um, Keto Community Bulletin Board Facebook group. Don't forget to visit KetoDiamond.com. All kinds of stuff over there is really good. I still ain't fixed that page. I'll fix it. But the rest of it is all good. So go check out KetoDiamond.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And you can come back and watch me beat my husband up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you want to say hey or bye or anything? Bye. <laughs> Destiny wants to say hey or bye. My hair is fluffy. Her hair is fluffy. And I'm not wearing a bra, as you might be able to tell. <laughs> Neither am I. We just got back from swimming, man. I'm Neither lazy. am I. He's not wearing a bra either. His is bigger. Play with <laughs> Hey, you guys, you know what I like to do? For some reason, every time I go into Walmart, I get electrified. So, like, when we're walking through the aisles, I keep trying to poke my husband's nipple <laughs> and give him a static shock, but he won't let me. He runs away. Nobody's going to play. <laughs> anyway, I hope this video found you and leaves you happy, healthy, safe, and well-loved. Much love to you, and maybe by the next time I do one, there's nothing going to be on my eyeball. I'm pretty eyeball. sure this one left everybody laughing in the floor. I hope it left everybody laughing in the floor. Bye, y'all.